That one was hanging, and it's in the left field corner. Adam Eaton wants to score behind Joe Ross, and the Nationals lead 4 nothing. And Trey Turner to right. How far? And Trey Turner, first home run of the year. So here's Trey Turner, who homered last inning, and he's got the bases full. 3-2 coming up to Turner. Here it is. Swing and a line drive down the right field line. That's a fair ball. It's headed to the corner. Wieters has scored. Heading home is Lind. Heading home is Eaton. Heading for third is Turner. The throw there. The head first dive. And he's in there. Trey Turner has cleared the bases with a triple. He has seven runs batted in. And Dave, he's hit for the site. 59 against Colorado pitching. And he bangs this one deep to left center. See you later. A low tracer that refused to come down until it slammed into the red seats. His ninth career leadoff home run. And now, after the first hitter of the game, we dance. We didn't have to wait for it tonight. Here we go. Here's Trey Turner in his ninth career leadoff home run in the first inning. Up the middle, off the pitcher. Perfect ricochet. Everybody's safe. And a pair of two out hits. Trey Turner, two for two. <laughs> Trey Turner, two for two tonight. And the pitch swung on, line to right. Blackman on the run, slides, can't get it by him all the way into the right field corner. Turner heading for second, makes the turn. He's on his way to third. He'll be in standing with a triple. There's Turner, who needs a double for the cycle. This one to the gap. Right center field. Trey Turner. Another cycle against the Rockies. And this one's at home. April 25th, two years ago. July 28th, this year. I'm telling you, man, there's some special things going on in the district, folks. Seems like old times all of a sudden, doesn't it? Fourth cycle in Nats history. Brad Wilkerson, Christian Guzman, and now two by Trey Turner. Trey Turner over the glove of Mike Brasso. And it's a good thing for the Rays. Kiermaier was playing over toward the gap. That had enough juice on it to get to the scoreboard. But he was able to cut it off. And Trey Turner, his march toward 100 hits continues. He's now at 97. Just an impressive piece of hitting. First pitch was 99 right down the middle. This slider caught the middle of the plate, but he stayed back and stayed through it and hit a bullet. And this time he's going to pull it. Extra bases. Schwarber coming to third. Bob Henley's going to hold him. Trey Turner into second. And with Juan Soto coming up, the Nats have the tying run at second base. Another good piece of hitting here from Trey Turner. Sheriff went with the change up this pitch. He stayed behind it and laced a double down the left field line. You can see how long his barrel stays in the zone. The Rosarina did a good job of fielding this ball cleanly and hitting his cutoff man, forcing Bob Henley to throw on the brakes for Schwarber. Trey with another multi-hit effort today. Well, this is the Nats 80th game of the year. And Trey Turner right now has 98 hits. That ball hit well. Right center. He's got 99 hits. See you later. Happy birthday, Trey. And guess what he needs for the cycle? Something he's very capable of doing. More on that later. The Nets have a two-run lead back. Get this guy to Denver. Somebody book his ticket. He needs to be there. Playing one of the most important positions on the field and on the field every day. And swinging an amazingly hot bat. Opposite field, no doubter. 
Well, I'm sure Trey Turner didn't know anything about Michael Walker, only giving up two homers this year. That's long distance, opposite field. And next up is Juan Soto. That was Trey Turner's first time facing Michael Walker. Soto 0 for 3 against him. With the homer, 1 for 1 career against this righty. Trey Turner already has two career cycles. There's a ton of room down the left field line. There's some room out there in the left center in the deep part of the ballpark is. Kiermaier the center fielder place him. Toward the out of town scoreboard. He's going to need a little carom too but all it takes is one errant bounce. Turner right field line and it's beyond the reach of Marco. He's going to second. He's going to third. Here's the throw. Set goal for Trey Turner. He had triple on his mind. He was flying around the bases. Check him out. Elevated cutter, and he had that on his mind the entire way. He did not pick up Bob Henley once. He said, I'm getting this three bagger on my B day. 